there a lot of pressure trying to fill the shoes of the guy like Elijah and some of those other defensive linemen that you guys lost? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Elijah was a good guy. He was a great guy, actually. Amazing player, explosive, fast, you know, all the above. So, it's definitely a lot of pressure coming in this year, even though he was like, a first rounder, but he's not going to do it. I remember back in that, I think it was your freshman year in, in Miami, you had a really good game uh, in 2020. Where have you come from since then? I remember like you had sparks here and there, but now you've had a lot of experience to grow on. Yeah, I feel like my game mentally has really emerged a lot. Um, you know, I know playbook way much better. Um, I'm bigger, obviously, than I was in 2020. Uh, I, I believe that I'm much faster. So I guess you, you guys will see this season how my game has gone over the years. How's the competition? I mean, there's teams like like five or six defensive tackles that could probably play. I mean, how is it knowing that there's so many guys pushing for playing time? Well, yeah, our room's pretty deep right now, but you know, it never stops motivating me to keep getting better every day. We have got great guys like D Green, T Bent, um, Devin Danielson. You know, we have a lot of vets in the room, so we just got to come out there every day, and practice, and see how we get better. Pat told us that you felt that David and Devin were kind of like the two vocal leaders that he's been, he's been relying on. Would you agree with that assessment? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, David and uh, you said Definitely. David and Devin, yeah. I think Tago and Nate Temple at the end. Right. Two vocal, three vocal leaders in the room right now. What's their, what's their leadership style? Like, I mean, like you're, yeah. you're, you're, a, you're a leader too. Uh, and you're better. Yeah, uh, well, my leadership style is more uh, like, I kind of just do it, you know, I don't speak that much. Um, them, they're more vocal, you know, they like to express their emotions, so, so that's how I say Do you have any personal goals this year? Do you have, like, certain milestones statistically yeah. or even playing time milestones you hope to achieve? More playing time, hopefully I get the, a chance to start this year. Mm -hmm. um, AC Championship, Natty, obviously, but that's really it. What have you seen from A.J. Woods? Like, you guys came up together, same high school. I mean, what have you seen his growth during his time at Pitt? Much faster, guys quick. Um, he's always been a playbook guy. He's smart on the field and off the field. Um, it's really, I mean, he's always he's always consistent. So it's really not that much of a change for him. But, uh, yeah, it's a great guy. High hopes for him this year. Thanks, Thanks, John.